Hello, and welcome back to Lily, Child of Geos. I just noticed from behind, wow, that's a spirit right away. I'm not gonna, not gonna go for that. I hope he doesn't bomb me in my face. And that guy too. Jesus Christ, what's with these two spirits just stalking me all the time? I noticed that I look like a pretentious artist from behind with his plumber hat. When you can't see the, the logo or the, the brim, it just looks like kind of a... Uh, Beret? Is that the word? Yeah, I think so. A beret, like an artist beret. Anyways, so it's after the last episode, but not right after the last episode. I've had some stuff to eat and stuff. Why am I telling you this? I don't even know. But, uh, what did I, what was I saying last time at the end? Things that we need to do, or that I want to do this episode. Number one, talk to Mr. Mr. Design clothing, uh, fashion dude, whatever, and see if he has anything new to say. Then, this green roofed building, it's probably this one, I would imagine. Maybe. Isn't this... isn't this Slaughterhorn's house? Oh no, this is Slaughterhorn's house, and this is something else. And we haven't been in here. Right, so it could be here. It could be here. It's probably there. God, this... okay, fine, fine, let's do this. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, some sort of frenzy. Thorn frenzy. Well, this is not... Oh, shit, damn it. I pulled a thorn. I was gonna say it's not too bad, but... I guess I was proven wrong. Oh, sweet. Okay, that was pretty good, I think. I think I pulled a thorn at the end there. But, still went pretty well. Alright, I suppose. I see how it is. I see. Construct sent you. We're gonna see about this. Oh, yes, we will. Alright. Yggdrasil. It was Yggdrasil, or Yggdrasil, or whatever you want to say. I mean, Yggdrasil is probably the more American, Americanized pronunciation of it. I remember that from Tales of Symphonia. I think they called him Yggdr Yggdrasil in that, or Yggdrasil almost. I don't even know. But, uh, Yggdrasil is a bit closer to... well, I guess it's not. I don't even know. I just call him Yggdrasil, whatever. Deal with it. Gender, male, age, timeless. Fun fact, is out for revenge. Remembers when walking the root... what? Remembers when walking the roots of the great tree was a harmless pastime. Things have changed. Yeah, okay, so he is sort of referencing that Norse mythology thing. The World Tree Yggdrasil, and all that stuff, so... That's kind of interesting. I didn't know this. So when you jump on a spirit's back, you're actually getting taken along for the ride. You're not, like, in place. You actually go where it looks like you're going. So that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. And... What else? It was the roof, the, the building, I want to check that out, and the circus. And... Okay, fine. Let's let's get this guy and let's use this invisibility potion. So now you can see he's just completely or she is just completely unaware and I can oh there's two of them. I can just jump on them cuz I kind of wanted to uh defeat that Shiwak uh spirit. Oh, this is a really good run so far. This is like perfect almost. I think I missed one and I missed there. All right. Well, too bad. That was going pretty well. Got it. That was still pretty pretty nice. I think that's going to be a good score. Defeat 10 spirits! Did those shaggy wood folk put you up to this? They, oh, defeat 40 spirits with a rating of 3 stars. Or, did that say 40? As I said, I'm very far away from the screen. I can't really read the small achievement numbers, so sorry about that. They did, didn't they? I hope you're happy now. Is it Shiwak? No, it's Kokobolo. Kokobolo. Great! And yeah, that was a pretty good score, I think. Gender female. Hair color. Trying too hard. Is she? Oh! I didn't even know you could spin them around. That's kind of interesting. Wait! How dare you! Regrets many things about her dealing... Her dealings with the constructs. Best not to elaborate. Alright. I guess so. And let's do it again. Let's just catch this spirit. So, as you can see, invisibility potions... Pretty damn good for this type of thing. So, here we go. Third one. 
And then I don't think there are going to be any more spirits in... Oh, Point Frenzy! In, uh, what shall we call it? Spirit Wood. A split wood, not spirit wood. And also, uh, oh shit, pull the thorn. Should be fine still, I think. That was, yeah, that was okay. Picked 200 flowers, so I guess these count as flowers as well. Do I get, I haven't been noticing, but do I get white flowers when I pick white flowers from a spirit? Maybe I do, so you get like, what is it, seven of them or something every time? Kind of interesting, I should pay attention to that next time. Or in editing, I suppose. What was I saying? I was gonna say something else, I feel. Right, the the coin flowers. I thought maybe there was some connection to pulling a coin uh, flower and then later getting a coin frenzy, but it does not seem like that's actually a ca the case. You just get them randomly, I think, so there we go. Oh wow, that actually felt really good! Do it again! Rematch, please! Don't tell anyone about this, though. Okay. Great! What a nice guy! Sitka, or girl, I guess. And there's another one. Female. Wait. Perfect. Hair color. Seasonal. Fun fact. Never been pruned. After several horrible, horrible relationships, Sitka promised herself she'd only date opposites from now on. Honestly, that might actually be a good idea. I mean, not complete opposites, but having someone who doesn't have have to have the exact same interests as you, can open your mind and vision and heart to a new possibility- I don't even know. So, I guess I'll jump onto this guy as well, why not? Let's do the fourth one as well, I guess this is the- oh, damn it. Point frenzy, because I pulled a thorn for no reason. Uh, I guess this is the- damn it, I pulled another thorn. The spirit, uh, pestering episode. I do want to do some other stuff as well, though, so this is going to be definitely the last one. Definitely. For sure. And, yeah, seven flowers. Plus seven flowers. So that, that does happen. That's kind of interesting. You think you're changing anything with all this sass? No. Spirits run this island. Give it up. And is that... Al... Alers. Alers. Okay, so it's not... What was her name? Aeoli? I don't even know anymore. Gender, female, age, 16 or 21, based on the situation. That's pretty clever. Fun fact, guess what she wants. A late bloomer, it took a while for her flowers to finally grow in, which she which she prom promptly pruned and augmented with much bigger, softer, expensive silicone flowers. Yeah, that's, that's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. So I guess I'm getting a shit ton of these uh, masks and stuff, so let's take a look. Let's see, Pignut, Half Circle Mask, it's kind of weird looking. Robot Face, we've had Pear, 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 Pear Drop, not Pear Drop. Uh, this thing, what's that called? Samurai Face, I've had that for horns. Square, great, it's like a TV. Floating Tea Mask, what the hell is this thing? Okay, that's pretty, wow. Iso, Isosceles? Isosceles Mask, I think it is? I know that word, but I don't know what it means. And no hat. Well, I gotta have this one, I suppose. I mean, I can't really not have this one, I think. I'm gonna stick with the sailor for now, I think. And just, uh... We should... Oh! Hi, Mailbot. You have new mail! Great! Gimme! Dear Lily, I wanted to let you know that you are... That we are very interested in samples you can provide from the Rust Grove regions. If you can find a way to locate those, your grade will reflect accordingly. Hmm, the professor is curious about the rust grove too. Sounds important. Thanks, girl. I have to go now. Thanks, Mailbot. Do your work. You're doing your work. Very well. Great. Good. Nice. Thumbs up. So, I guess we can go to rust grove now, or... Wow, that looks really... really weird. I, great. Um, so I, we might be able to go. Holy shit! At the spirits. Why are there so many spirits? I thought I would find that that chick, whatever her name was. I can't remember now the uh, spirit I wanted to apprehend. Anyways, okay. Uh, the things I wanted to try this episode. I wanted to speak that to that guy, and I guess it's a bit too late now. I wanted to see if. Simply 
quitting and loading your game would reset this guy. So if he's still tired, it doesn't, but if he's not, it might still not be the case. It might be because I got a flower or something, or a cutscene, I don't even know. Yeah, he's, he's up and running again, so... I guess I'm gonna do a bunch of two-star or two-flower, the normal mode thingies, because I want to see if five of these will also just completely make him super tired and stuff, or if there's more or less or anything like that. I might show this, I mean again, if you want to sort of play along with a cup game, but it's gonna take a while, so maybe I will speed this up. We'll see when I decide. Oh, I actually wasn't even looking there for a moment. I don't think I missed anything. I think it's over here now and there. Maybe I should... Yeah, okay. Maybe I should actually follow it with the cursor, but that might just be annoying. Let me do that for one of them, and we'll see. So here it is. See if I can follow it. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's there now. And there. And then there. And there. Yeah, I don't think that's very useful. It's pretty easy to, like, deal with these guys, this this uh, difficulty. So I'm just gonna keep doing this for a couple of tries. I'll probably speed it up. That's three. And four. And five. Alright, so let's see if he gets tired now as well. We will see. Yes, he is. My enigmatic motions have failed to perpe perplex you. I stand in the shadow of greatness. Oh, hey, it's nothing. Thanks. So, he's too tired now. So it is five victories or possibly five attempts. I guess I would have to miss an attempt in order to check that. But, hmm. I don't know if I want to do that. But at least we can do that five times, probably every time. I guess I'll start speeding it up from now on, probably, because it's sort of pointless. And also we can go and buy those boots if we want as well now. So do I want to go in here? Wow, time is flying in this game, or whenever I play this game. This is probably one of the games that feel the fastest to me as a Let's Player. I mean. Many other games I've sort of gotten lost in, and you're just making Let's Plays and episodes, and then suddenly it's over and stuff. But this game is just on a completely, sorry, completely different level. It really feels weird that things happen so fast. There, there's just so much to do, at least at this stage of the game, that you just get sidetracked and sidetracked, and then suddenly you're out of time. So, let's just go into the circus and see what's up. Hi, Mr. Acrobat Guy, you look like Trainer. Is this actually Trainer, just in disguise, maybe? That might be it. So, I believe that this is just a house of sorts, and probably nothing... Oh, maybe it does lead somewhere. Alright, let's talk to this guy first. Hey, hey. Why? Well, sorry. Hello there, looking agile. Ooh, you weren't supposed to be in here. Shh, don't tell anyone, I'm on a quest. Watch me flail! I can spin! Watch me prance! I saw some of that when I walked in. Girl, you ain't seen nothing unless you seen me flop! What? What is... what am I doing? I can flop! I can whirl! I got goofy legs! That's so great for you! Girl, I can do the flips, the snaps! I can feel my legs! I can do the splits and the splats! Whoa! Once I did the spuns, while I had the spins, I got the jumpity jumps, the mayor removed part of my brain, I can also- he's, his voice is changing by the minute, I can also drop it right to the floor! Drop what? My pride! You received clown's nose. Fantastic, let's get the clown's nose instead of this bizarre looking mask. It's kind of amazing though. Where is it? There, clown's nose. Fantastic. I now have a clown's nose. You hear that tickling in my brain? I don't. Not anymore. Alright. Okay. And one more try, just to make sure. 
Yep, great. Wait, so... Okay, I thought maybe I could talk to him before that circle showed up, but I don't think I can. Let's take a photo of all this. Great. And then we can turn in the photo quest and get that pervert to stop taking photos of us, but that's probably not gonna happen. Let's read this! This door is for the mayor only. In fact, you should not be here unless you are the mayor or are performing for the mayor in the circus. If you are neither of these, please leave and then see Skillet for souping. Wow. So, wow. Okay. So I thought that was just sort of, you know, a pleasure drug thing, the souping, but apparently it's a punishment. Like it melts your brain or something. I don't even know. So if I talk to this guy now, he's too tired. Yeah, I think it is based on your play session, as far as I understand. Did we do what this guy... Oh yeah, we did We did do what this guy asked. He, he asked us to uh, check out some house, Yggdrasil's house, and I don't think we've done that, but we have smashed Yggdrasil. You don't have to worry about Yggdrasil anymore, I smashed him. Yay, good, where can be? I haven't found it yet, but I'll come back when I do. I crave it! Salty candy! Candy crime! Candy crime! Salty candy? Salty twisty sticks! Oh. So like, salty sticks, those pretzel sticks, whatever they're called, they're pretty popular here in Sweden. Oh, I guess we can turn in this quest as well. Let's do that. Hi. Got the circus photo! <laughs> nice job sneaking into that place. I'm sure you're on some kind of list now. Just so make sure you don't mention me to anyone. Ever. Talk to me again if you have more photos. I managed to get a photo of Hemlock's creepy place. Man, what a weirdo. Nice, try ha ha hiding your shame now, Hemlock. Talk to me again if you have more photos. And I get one red flower for each and a little bit of gold. Check out this photo of Mailbot's place. Ew, look how messy he is. Let's get that photo up in, in that frame. Wait, yeah, I did read that right, so everyone else can judge. That is all of them, fantastic! Hey, hey. So, will you take those photos down now? Nope. Nope, here's a flower. Yeah, not as much. Please take those photos down. Nope. Please take those photos down. Nope. Great, alright, well... Thanks, guy. And yeah, as I mentioned in text, there are actually quite a few butt shots. I didn't even notice them when I was looking in here last time. Like, there's two up to the left there, there's three here, uh, only three, yeah. And there's, like, more here, there's butt shots everywhere. So, oh, I didn't even notice these photos on the floor, but don't see any butt shots here. There probably are some. Is that one? I don't even know. Anyways! Enough about butt shots, let's go and do some stuff. <sighs> no, I'm gonna go this way, I just happen to be going the same way, and I just happen to jump on your back, I suppose. God damn it, these spirits. Oops, oops, whoops. Oh, wow. So, I guess... When you pull out a white flower, it stops whatever frenzy is going, or maybe it's just time-based, I'm not sure. And I don't think I got three stars on that. Where's that construct boy? I'll have him... What? I'll have him paddle your britches. You see him, you send him over to get a switch. I don't even know what that means. Box Elder. Box Elder is male, and he's 63 years old. Fun fact, doesn't believe in spirits. If we came from trees, why are there still trees? What? Oh, yeah, I guess that's, you know, like, why, if we came from monkeys, then why are there still monkeys and stuff? That's kind of thing. Yeah, I need to rematch this guy. I'll just do that quick. Uh... I guess he just spawned somewhere? Right, so I need to go and find him again. That's kind of annoying. If I, if I just go here again... And... Hemlock. Did I get... Zero? What? Wait, have I run into this guy? I didn't think I had. Have I? Now I am confused. 
Alright, that's enough about spirits this episode. I'm not gonna do that. I'll do that next time. Um, so let's go talk to the the guy, the fashion guy, wherever he was. I think he was... Uh... I think he was up here? Maybe? No. Was he? This way? Is this him? Yeah, this is him. Great. Alright, so let's see. Check out this outfit. I got it at Shoppington's. You're back. Nope. Nothing else. Alright. Well, he doesn't say anything new. I guess I'll just check if I select a new outfit like the green and I do this. Let's do this and then talk to him. Go away, you're making my eyes burn. I don't know if there's a way to, like, please this guy and actually get something from him. There probably is, but I don't know what it is. So, hi. Interview. Yep. Alright, great. So I'll just switch back. I think I want... Oh, I think I want the uh, crazy looking hat for a while longer. So let's do that. Why not? Um, now... Do I hear a spirit? No, I don't think so. So there's a guard down here. Hi. Can I get this flower? Yes, I can. And that was very strange. The mayor doesn't want you here. Alright. Well, I've already got... Oh! Okay, sure. I said enough about spirits, but I retract that statement. And yeah, I think overall I just need to be a bit slower in these sections, because if you're slow and deliberate, you don't really pull out anything that's wrong. Like, even here, I don't have to stress it. You can just be very slow and methodical, and you'll get all of it very, very easily. And another frenzy. Frenzy Frenzy? What the hell? Oh, I should pull out that bomb. I think I lost my streak because of that. And Coin Frenzy! Oh, I see, it's like three Frenzies in a row, basically. Um, that was three stars, apparently. Where's that concert boy? Yeah, and that was Elder Box. Box Elder, Elder Box. Yeah, so now I got the three star. Great, now I don't have to do that. Next time. Fantastic. And there's a spirit. Right. Can I catch this guy? Then I will. No, I can't, but I can kick this pot. So, let's just do this. Let's open here and see... open this door and see if... Yeah, she's right there. Skillet. Great. Well, let's head in, I suppose. Alright. Hi, Skillet. Is there a chest here? Yes, there is. And grog mug. Whoa, a funky glowing grog mug. It's full of some pastry green goo. Perhaps a flav favor drink of the spirit folk. Ooh, smell it. It's a bit like lawn. Maybe someone in high school would drink this. Great. And let's talk to you, uh, Skillet. Hey. Miss Skillet. Or now it's Mrs. Skillet. Before it was Miss Skillet, wasn't it? I don't even know. I'm here to save you. Well, knock me down and steal my teeth, you came for me! I sure did, ma'am. We can go now. That's great, dear. Thank you so much. No problem. We can go now. Dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> Going? Oh, heavens, you go on ahead, child. I've got a mighty stew going here. I can't stomach the thought of leaving it. Seriously? Okay. I'll see you back to your cafe, I suppose. You run on ahead, honey. Sorry, I'm messing that up a lot. I'll see you in my cafe. Alrighty then. Pro tip, talk to random people. I am. I'm talking to random people right now. And check doors. Well, so I kind of figured as much that she would be like, oh, I actually like it here. But there we go. And what else? We can go in here and talk to the guy about his brother. So let's do that, and then that's probably a good time to end it. I believe I found your brother. Oh, what the hell happened to his animation? He just sort of clicked into... clicked into going, clicked into... animation. I don't even know. Oh, do tell! He's hiding out in a little abandoned house up on the hill. I think he made enemies with some spirit named Shiwak. Thank the Great Oak for that news. Glad to see he hasn't been turned into a book. Or soup. Soup? 
Uh, never mind. Yeah, that's horrible. Anyways, Shiwak is running, is still running around these parts, and I've heard about what you're, you've been up to. So, if you happen to use your aggressive gardening tactics on her, let me know. I will make sure that you are rewarded. Sorry, I can't say that sentence. I'll make sure you're rewarded. That's too hard for me. I don't even know why. There's gonna be a cut in here somewhere. I'll make sure Shiwak has, um, oaked her last stuff, or whatever. You do that. And let's talk to him again. Let me know when you've taken... Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so that's nothing major. So I guess now Shiwak has appeared somewhere here and before. So like if I run up here, there's a spirit right here. Uh, no, not really. He's running away from me. And Mailbots! Okay, let's end it on Mail. Hey, Lily! Mr. Hey, Mr. Letterman! Do you have more mail to cough up at me? Nope, just in the area. Thought I'd say hey. You must be really happy with all the flowers you're collecting. Is this what you've always wanted to do? Uh, sure, I guess so. It makes the professor happy. Wait. Oh, that's Mailbot. Mailbot just went past Mailbot. He's having an existential crisis or something, or a split personality. Or maybe there's more than one mailbot, I don't even know. What? That's kinda sad. Why did you come all this way if you didn't care about flowers? No, I care, just maybe not as much as I'm expected to. Dot dot dot. I should go, these spirits aren't yanking their own flowers out. Oh, okay. Bye. So, mailbot seems a bit too into Lily. We'll see about that later on, I suppose. And now, there's a guard here. Interesting, but I can do this, and then run away, and then just run past him. Yep, that's kind of weird, so they're kind of useless as guards, but oh well. I guess you can just run into one without really thinking about it, and that's a problem. Also, I started down here this time. Did I start down here last time? I mean, last time I started in Surfside, so yeah, I think I did start here when I was in Splitwood. Anyways, I'll end it here as well. So, thank you very much for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll get these edited, hopefully, and next time, what will we do next time? I don't even know. Um, there's so much to do, I guess we can... I guess there isn't much to do. I mean, we can go to Rust Grove, or we can just defeat more spirits, or we can check out some of the more... some of the other locked doors, which I probably will. There's one right there on the screen right now. So, as I said, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!